Southwestern was an incredible game. It went back and forth, two evenly matched teams. We, we played really well in so many things, but we were tested in a lot of ways that we hadn't been in. So that's gonna be really good going forward. Unfortunately, they, they found a way to score a goal and, and we didn't that game. That's definitely something that will progress us as, as we go on through the season and just to be tested tactically and they threw different things at us than other teams had. And then I think that carried over to Wayland because Wayland threw some different things at us and tested us in different ways. And, and our girls found a way to perform really well last night. It took them a little bit to get going, but once they did, um, they really took it to Wayland last night and scored three great goals, but um, just the entire team effort and then their ability to problem solve really showed through last night. So you had some huge performances. You have to start with your with your back line and your goalkeeper in Southwestern. And when you're playing a team of that quality, you know they're going to have to make some big saves. So Cortland Boone just made some fantastic, fantastic saves for us. Um, and then the back line with Grace McKenna and Kaylee Worth and Kate Wilson, Shelby Willie, Chris Jennifer, they're just all so solid players that they just really make an impact and allow you to be uh, more attacking minded. Um, because you know they got your back. So I started playing soccer um, just like every other kid, three-year-old starting, I feel like every kid does it, but then for me it kind of just always kept going and I had an older sister that played, she was two years older than me, so our teams practiced a lot together and she was always someone that I looked up to and I loved to see all the girls that were older than me and just kind of get to learn and be a part of them. And then my dad has also just been a bit of influence and always been there to kind of push me along the way, guide me through it. Um, so I kind of just always stuck to soccer. I tried other sports growing up, but nothing I was good at soccer, so I stuck with that. I actually wasn't a full-time keeper until I was a sophomore in high school. Um, I played mainly midfield and then a little bit of forward in there, here and there. But as I came from a smaller high school, a smaller back then at least when I joined. Um, and so I was the only person that they had really ever seen come in with keeper experience because I kind of was a versatile player and played all over the field when I was younger. And so my sister being on the team, the coach already knew me, he already kind of knew how I played and the style I played and he knew that I was pretty good at keeper. I knew what I was doing, I knew the angles and the different roles that they had to play. And so I became a full-time goalkeeper for my varsity team as a freshman, but then I still stayed in club as that forward role until my sophomore year. You know, it's kind of funny because Kate, um, our assistant Kate Holland and I were just kind of talking about how exhausting it has been on the girls and this, the different ride, the different bus rides, the different late nights, and they're just finding a way to get better and push themselves through. And that's just gonna lead us into conference um, because when you do that, you find out the strength isn't so much um, the performances, it's actually the way that they are there for each other and they carry each other and they lift each other up. And when you have a team that has that ability to find a way, even when you're tired, to be there for each other, it makes it really special and a lot of fun. It's just going to carry you through the tough moments of what conference is about to be because I think every single team in our conference has got a winning record right now and has beaten everybody. So it's, it's every game is going to be uh, up for grabs for sure.